the Elite Wrestling Initiative is the innovative force Hello everyone and welcome to EWI Excel and we are back here at the Elks Lodge in Dickinson, North Dakota and we are ready for the prodigy Johnny Richter to come out as he is hoping to win the initiative championship and he's ready to start his journey in bracket B of the initiative championship tournament and we're going to see what he can do here tonight on EWI Excel. back here in the Elks Lodge Dickinson, North Dakota and as you can see the prodigy Johnny Richter is waiting patiently as he stretches out for his opponent and here he comes the charismatic TW3 TW3 will be facing off against the prodigy Johnny Richter and one of these men will be moving on in bracket B Thomas Walton III from Green Bay, Wisconsin. From Green Bay, Wisconsin, absolutely. Thomas Walton III. He likes to call himself TW3. The prodigy Johnny Richter, who is very motivated here. He wants to capture gold. And he's got something to say here. All right, you know what? Here's the deal. The last time I was here, all you people decided that you'd rather cheer that thug, Kaz Carter. Over the prodigy? Me? So now we got this guy here because, hey, no surprise, the champ Derek Fury decided to no-show when he had an open challenge out. So I guess instead of uh, wrestling him, I gotta wrestle the next little uh, thug wannabe coming in here. <laughs> you go read so, you know, I really should be thanking you people, though, because, uh, well, you enlightened me. You helped me realize that I don't need any one of you to do what I want to do in EWI. What do you want to do? Win championships, of course, because I'm the greatest wrestler that's ever laced them up in this company or any other. Now, tonight, Things are gonna go a whole lot different than they've been going. Tonight is by any means necessary. And that's trouble for you. That's trouble for you, TW3. All right, you know what? Let's hurry up and get this over with. I don't wanna be in front of these inbred, alcoholic fans from Dickinson or anymore. Okay, wow, those are some pretty hard words from the prodigy Johnny Richter. And here, let's take a look at the bracket B here. We got Johnny Richter taking on TW3. And then later, we're going to see Dynamic Devin Davids taking on Savage McNasty. And one of these four individuals will be moving on as a finalist. And they will be facing off against Killa Kaz Carter for that EWI Initiative Championship. 
And that match is going to take place on our next episode of EWIXL. And the Prodigy, already on the outside, not wanting, not wanting to face off against TW3. Do you blame him? <laughs> I guess not. TW3 clearly not going to take uh, too kindly to the words that the Prodigy just said. Not sure anybody should. They weren't exactly kind words. And these fans are definitely telling the Prodigy how they feel about him. TW3 intimidating the Prodigy. And the prodigy, he resides in uh, Beulah, North Dakota. Absolutely. One hour away from Dickinson, North Dakota. Which is where we're at here in the Elks Lodge as the prodigy now working to get out of this headlock. Hammering that arm on his shoulder before he delivered an elbow across that shoulder. Now, working on that. So he's working on a wrist lock here. Oh, going into a... Looks like a top wrist lock. Oh, it's got to be pressure on the back. Yeah. Br bridging off is TW3, a beautiful bridge. And now he's bridging back up to his feet. Is he going to reverse it out a bit? Yes, there he goes. Nice reversal into a, armoring himself into another wrist lock his own wrist lock here now and the prodigy begging now off now trying to work out of that able to power his out his way out of the wrist lock into the hammer lock great some great exchanges of holds here now, TW3 is a very, very uh, strong competitor and in very good shape. Absolutely. Obviously, uh, very well versed in the scientific skills of wrestling. Prodigy would like to think of himself as uh, the most skilled. Oh, of course. As he now steps through the second rope to trying to get away, and now he's going back inside. Oh, oh my God! Look at this maneuver here. Oh, wow! Locking the hammer lock around the second rope as he is working over that arm. That was a nice, interesting maneuver there on the part of the prodigy Johnny Richter. Breaking the hold just short of the five down. Absolutely, definitely highly illegal. Prodigy's new attitude here in the EWI based off of him, uh, his recent matches with Kaz Carter didn't take kindly to the audience's reaction, but I would, uh, I would argue that that was not the audience's fault and more on the Prodigy and Kaz's. Oh, and a nice jumping calf kick there. Taken out TW3 and then a leg drop. As we all know, on our last time we seen the Prodigy and Kaz face off, we seen a large amount of people walking out on their match. I take it uh, the Prodigy takes that a little personal, which probably accounts for his new attitude here. I totally agree. And Richter has been in charge so far through this match. Oh, dropping that knee on that shoulder area there has been working on working it over, but now TW3 working. Oh, and then takes the thumb to the eye. And the Prodigy strutting away. Shades of uh, Ric Flair. Oh, and then a kick to the abdomen area. I would say the lower abdomen area on that. 
now locking in a sleeper hold. Let's take a look at that top wrist lock again here. As look at that bridge on the part of TW3. Look at that. That's a lot of strength to yes. get out of that. Beautiful flexibility and technical skill on the part of TW3. And then he's able to reverse into that arm ringer. Now, here we go with that. Arm ringer himself as the Richter does this very interesting reverse of this hammer lock as he steps through on the bottom rope and is able to lock that hammer lock around the second rope. Highly illegal, but a very interesting maneuver nonetheless. Now here's that calf kick across the leg or the face, taking out TW3. And then that leg drop follow-up. Yes. Now we're back to live action. TW3 now working to his feet. And the prodigy. Definitely fully in control if we get a splash in the corner. Yeah. Looked like we had a little bit of a miscommunication and TW3 is gonna make a pay for that. Oh, wow. And the Prodigy bouncing out of the corner as well. Dropping in with a clothesline. Unbelievable. And now here we go. The neck breaker, a rude awakening style. Now he's going to get cocky about it. Yeah, that arrogant cover. And then the stomping kick to the chest. Now he's going to work on the leg, it looks like. The leg and knee area there, locking in with the great bind. But TW3 is going to grab his hair. Oh, no. Nope. Prodigy not about to let him get even an inch out of this one. Get off my hair, get off my hair, man. Get him off my hair. My hair's too pretty to be touched like that. that yeah, he has that beautiful weave going on. <laughs> Absolutely. I think he's got some soul glow going on there. Absolutely. And now. TW3 shoot them off, and then the prodigy dropping him with, uh, with either a shoulder tackle or a clothesline. It wasn't able to see what he used there. Nevertheless, picking up TW3 and a knee lift. Front face lock and a beautiful DDT. TW3 flipping over and getting. A two count off of that in Prodigy's part. Here we go now. Prodigy going up to we're going up to the first or the second. Here we go on the second row. Of course, having to show off. People usually pay for it. But oh. it and he did get the super kick into the face. Well, he. You got a face full of that size 11 shoe. Absolutely. And I absolutely think that he had that coming for wasting so much time and trying to show up. And now TW3 is going to make him pay for that miscalculation. Shoot them off. And a calf kick. Here we go with the cover. And a quick kick out. TW3 now, and a snapmare. Ooh, a stiff kick there, and oh, oh my gosh. God. Diving kick on the part of TW3 there across the, the chest. He's just lightning quick. Absolutely. And now diving with that big forearm shot off the rope, and a boot across the face, and Prodigy stumbles and falls. Probably wishing he was on vacation. Yeah, it's over. It's over. yeah I, I'm sure he is. Now, TW3 stopping with that 
Leg, what are we gonna have here? Off the second, oh, oh and he gets caught! What's gonna kind of come in? Every, and drop it in with a spine buster. The Prodigy able to catch him in midair with some, some type of feet on its own, let alone dropping it with that spine buster. And now the Prodigy setting him up. What, what's going to come here? Looks like he's going for... Oh, no. The, getting reversed into a next slide. And now... That's it. That's going to be the three count. And the Prodigy doesn't even know what happened. Prodigy looks to be upset about this. As he's kicking the rope, throwing a tantrum like only the Prodigy Johnny Richter can do. And let's take a look at some of these highlights here. Here's that beautiful DDT. Look at that cell job on the part of TW3. Now let's take a look at that stomp. Here we go with that jumping springboard and then catches him in midair and then the spine buster and then here we go he goes for that i'm guessing he was going to go for some kind of uh snapmare and then where he gets that next slide for the three count out of nowhere i think he might have was, was going for a stunner actually but then uh he got, got it reversed into that next slide And we're back now. We are in the Elks Lodge in Dickinson, North Dakota. And dynamic Devin Davids making his presence known here. Which of these two men will be moving on to face TW3? Should be interesting. Dynamic Devin Davids facing a much larger opponent, but far greener. We'll see. If Savage McNasty has what it takes to keep up with Dynamic Devin Davids. But Dynamic Devin Davids looks like he could be. He couldn't be more upset about even being here, but ten, that tends to be just his default setting, it seems. Come on, 3D, go get him! I expect you to hear my name, so start. As uh, is the part of Devin Davids, he is demanding these fans cheer for him. Demanding their respect. And here we go. We got that bracket B. TW3 has already moved on. He's got his spot. Devin Davids and Savage McNasty are facing off for their spot in that matchup for the finalist spot against Killer Kaz Carter, which will happen in our next episode of EWIXL. And Savage McNasty showing off his power against the much smaller Dynamic Devin Davids. And here we go now. De Devin Davids able to duck out of the way of that swing. Obviously, they're quicker than the two. Obviously, and, and these fans are not pleased with Dynamic Devin Davids. And Savage McNasty getting more respect than the Prodigy got, which is clearly why he has an attitude issue now. He's got, what, about a foot on him, too? Oh, absolutely. Look at that. He's got, like, a full head between his head and 
dynamic Devin David's head. I mean, if you're using a normal head size, not Savage McNasty's. No, that's just McNasty. Yeah. I'd hate to take that, that head butt, because that would probably knock me unconscious. And Savage McNasty taunting dynamic Devin Davids. And he, look at this. This Now he's just getting on his knees to fully taunt. And I don't think he's going to... Yeah, I knew that was coming. Dynamic Devin Davids has already got, got some anger issues. I'd imagine that wasn't going to go over very well as he's now choking Savage McNasty. I always like to think of Dynamic Devin Davids... I'd like to compare him to a chihuahua. I mean, not the size, more like the attitude, where he's just always mad. And the IP. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but if you ever get them mad, which they're always mad, they're going to bite you. And he definitely bites him. And there we go, Savage McNasty with that. Boss man like style of sidewalk slam. Just sheer strength. Absolutely. Dynamic Devin Davids. And of course, the crowd let them know what they think of it. Oh, absolutely. Of course, they don't like Dynamic Devin Davids. Of course, I'm not entirely sure he likes them either. He just wants them to respect him. The problem with the audience is if you don't show them respect, they're definitely not going to respect you as he gets brought in the hard way. Savage McNasty now with that clothesline of sorts. Now, here we go with a big scoop. Here we go. And a big slab down to the canvas. Dynamic Devin Davids now. And now here we go with the cover. And Davids able to get, able to get his shoulder up. Just came up short. And Savage McNasty getting a getting an eye rake there. And a big stop in the midsection. And that was a big leg lift there. Now, the big DDT down on Savage McNasty. Yeah, two and a half. And now, Devin Davids dive with a big dive. A somersault sent on onto the, on Savage McNasty and McNasty knowing where he's at, able to grab the rope. Now, choking him out. One, two, three, and let's take another four, look at that big sidewalk slam. And Savage McNasty able to put his weight onto the smaller dynamic Devin Davis. Look at that. Beautiful. And here we go with that big slam. Savage McNasty ain't doing a lot of things right here in this matchup, but he definitely did those things very well. As we got Dynamic Devin Davids now with a big face plant on the part. And Savage McNasty able to get his shoulder up, rolling out of the way. And Dynamic Devin Davids now. Well, McDasty has about 100 pounds on him. Well, I'd say at least. Devin Davids up and then catching. Oh, look at that. Getting tossed over his shoulder. And here we go with the snake eyes across the turnbuckle. Now Savage McNasty measuring him with that clothesline. Throwing his weight into it. But Dynamic Devin Davids able to get the shoulder up. Now Savage McNasty. 
picking up Devin Davids. And here we go, looking at Davids throwing himself onto Savage McNasty. And then here we go, McNasty catching him and then throwing him over his shoulder. And then that Snake Eyes crossed the turnbuckle. Now Devin Davids, what's he looking for out there? I'd imagine he's trying to find his uh, his object that he tends to use a lot. Oh, it's got a bell. No, Savage McNasty taking the bell away from him. No, the referee is going to get get between them. He's grabbing the bell and taking it away from him. And now, oh, he had a chain. So he had that chain with him. I, I, did he grab it off the table or did he just have it on him? Well, it doesn't matter now because it was all academic at this point. Devin David secures his spot. So it'll be David's against TW3. Well, that should be a pretty good matchup between those two. Two athletic individuals facing off for that final spot against Killacaz Carter. And here we go with that bell. This just seemed to be a setup now. He was he wanted to get caught, and he wanted Savage McNass to get caught with that bell. Just so the referee would turn his back here, because he got the chain! And he was able to hit Savage McNasty in the face. And now I saw he grabbed the chain from that corner while the referee's back was turned. And then referee Charles, as he put the bell away, ended up counting the three. And dyna dynamic Devin David still not letting it go. He still wants the proper respect paid to him after that. TW3 now joining Dynamic Devin Davids, who again still doesn't look impressed. We are still in the Elks Lodge here at Dickinson, North Dakota. TW3 looking energetic. As he has had a little bit more rest than, than Corey Diamond got in our last episode after his after Kaz and Mr. Vacation faced off. Dynamic Devin Davids and Savage McNasty had a, a bit more of a slower paced match. Which is interesting considering Dynamic Devin Davids. But this audience is definitely behind the charismatic TW3. Here we go with the lockup. Oh, and then a kick right to the leg. Dynamic Devin Davids, not in the mood. I would seem to think this would be a fast-paced matchup. I'd imagine it would be, especially with these two, both very athletic. Oh, and a beautiful drop kick right to the face. TW3 had tremendous lift on that. Now, TW3, watching Dynamic Devin Davis very closely. And the crowd getting on, Davids. Davids not enjoying the audience telling him exactly how they feel about him. And they definitely do not respect him. Which is interesting because that's exactly all he wants them to do. And here we go with a drop toll. And it looks like TW3 
trying to slap him around a little bit. Oh. Well, he's just trying to tell him he's a good boy. And here we go with a kick to the gut. And a big chop. And another shot. Here we go. With, oh, and then a reversal. And a clothesline taken out. TW3. Here we go with the cover and a count. Only a two count there. And choking. TW3 now. Of course, David's not very pleased. TW3 able to get. Oh, nasty Ooh, kick to the back of the head. That was an insane kick to the back of the head. That is what I always like to say. A no-no shot. And then here we go with a ch choke with the shirt across. And TW3 now across that second row. Devin Davids, big forearm shot across the face. In the rope, and up. And he's giving him a calf kick. Oh, TW3 kicks out of that rather quickly. I'd imagine that he wants to keep the pace up. I'm not sure who what who the pace favors more. TW3 or Devin Davids! Oh my gosh! Diving over the top onto Devin Davids! And I wish we had our other camera angle because I would have liked to have seen that catch. There's that big drop kick across the face. And here, I think this is going to be that kick. Yes! Across that back of the head, that no-no shot that I like to say. And here we go with that jumping calf kick. And then here's that big dive over and on to dynamic Devin Davids. And the two are brawling off over by the merchandise table. Oh, a big kick across the chest in the solar plexus area there. And Devin Davids is down. But TW3 picking him back up and another kick. And now TW3 picking him back up and Rolling him in onto the inside. Here we go with the cover to count. And a jaw jacker. And a big forearm shot there now. And another one. And a big chop across the chest. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Oh, going up. It's dynamic Devin Davids now. And oh! TW3 still taking the dive after missing the, the Hurricane Rana on the part of Devin Davids. Nevertheless, getting a two count. That was a very long two count. Yes, absolutely. TW3 tried to get the crowd behind him. Absolutely, and now here we go with an elbow to the chest, another elbow to the chest, another shot. Here we go with a springboard, and oh a, my god! It's a Guri across the face! And that's it. That's gonna do it. TW3 is your winner. But that victory didn't come easily. But all the punishment that he just took. And let's take a look at some of that. Here is that botched Hurricane Rana. And there we go, he missed. He didn't, wasn't able to grab his hips, but he still took the dive nonetheless. And he got that long two count and then that diving springboard insiguri kick into the face of dynamic Devin Davids to secure his three count and his spot.
And there it is. He gets his spot as a Brocket B finalist. And he will now move on to face Killa Kaz Carter on our next episode of EWI XL. And that's all going to take place next time. And we will see a new EWI initiative champion crown. And it will be between TW3 and Killa Kaz Carter. And that uh, ring announcer has been hanging out with Mr. Vacation again. So why don't you join us next time for EWI XL. XL.